Yo ninjas, welcome back to the show, Ninja Rex Ishiloing and what did you eat today? Welcome back to the episode of Drugs and Manga Rex, relaxing and beyond today on this Sunday evening. Yes, so I was going over there ninjas, also just made a cappuccino, it was a bit too much juice in here, so I have to be careful to rotate it here, oh shit, a bit too much milk. All right, cheers, skull, prost, kampai, enjoy ninjas. So how was your weekend? This weekend we ate today some leftover dinner. Also my ninja, ninja father brought some fresh rice, white rice with broccoli, tofu, and of course not to forget the most important part of this meal of dinner that I got this evening spicy chicken with egg super nice yes chicken pedis it was really good like the bone and you eat, eat the bone from the bone the chicken very nice and also the egg there's still a little bit left over a little bit so I might eat it later or save it for tomorrow you have to also keep an account with the calories because yesterday Ate a bit too much calories. Yeah, like yesterday I thought, okay, let's go stream yesterday. But then we went to a movie. I went with one ninja father to the movie Dune 2. Also last evening night made a review about it, but still have to cut up the pieces, visuals, and also planning to make an art piece for it, a manga drawing for it, a simple one for also the review. So that's also something to plan ahead and also right now today going back to some manga practice to keep on the manga craft and to become a super mangaka so yeah if you want to follow this journey or following drawing manga drawings or drawings in general and improve your skills uh, yeah just draw along if you have a pen and paper or a digital pen and paper or just chill and talk about some anime manga movies and beyond so yeah if you have any topics or something you want to talk about just let me know sometimes i will when i'm drawing i will be a bit focused sometimes but if you have any questions or comments just uh, let me know just let me know so how's your weekend today also today I uploaded a new video on youtube which you now can check out at first it was uh, incorrectly uploaded because it had some black stuff in the video so i today had quickly had to re-edit a, a few pieces so that it's uploaded correctly so i think now the latest video that i uploaded should be good it's a vlog kind of thing so also let me know if you like those kind of videos and if you want to see more of those videos next to manga drawing videos because i don't want to limit myself only to mangas specifically well it's the ma majority part on my youtube channel so to speak but I also want to do other stuff uh, next to that or just experiment a bit, you know, explore the creative endeavors, you know. And also manga vlogs can be, a, uh, yeah, have to make a bit more of that as well or put that stuff in it. Like the process of making a manga in, in, in case you uh, are wondering about manga. Because I am, uh, also I created this manga called Party Time. It's complete. Now you can read it for free on Manga Creators. And if you've read it and you want to send in some fan art, you can do so. Because also right now working on a physical book that will be then hold, be able to hold in your in your hands soon or in hands. Um, a physical book, you know, that you can touch, you know, like... Uh, and with some bonus content in there as well. So, and also fan arts in there that you need just send in. And also fan questions about party time yeah so if you want to send in fan art of party time just send me some some fan art and uh, your name or artist name then can be added for in the book also remember that it should be black and white or at least it will be printed in black and white so let's say you would color it it will then be black and white of course i can share it on the social media in color but in the book the inside will be black and white because uh yeah with color it was uh, really expensive unless you know a better printer pr people where, where they can do it but first have to do a test print and then i'm still compiling the 
PDF file to send to the printer people and also the cover. So I work on the cover as well uh, next to this. It's about almost done, a bit of the text and stuff, but I think the majority is about 90% done. The inner side I have to add a bit more stuff. Um, a little eyes on the details and a few extra things make it more neat and nice. And then send the, the test file to the printer people to see how it's gonna look like. And yeah, so that's basically the current process where we are in at with the party time physical book. So yeah, ninjas. So we have two subjects to draw today for the manga practice uh, submitted by, the, by Fate. The Fate, which is arms and hips. So if you have also body parts, you want to see me draw to practice the manga craft. It has to be the human body uh, on the outside. Um, yeah, some parts will be re-looped, so redone. Let's say the first time we drew body parts was like hands and then we can always do again drawing hands because it will be a bit different and hands are still they, they are hard to draw right i mean i guess even experienced artists would say that hands are still you know one of the more difficult parts like if you are also drawing yourself what part of the human body do you find the most difficult i think hands is definitely one of them maybe feet um, but if it's like a specific part, yeah, it might be the hands. I, I think the hands though, or maybe feet. Yeah, because they have all little things going on. Anyways, let's uh, get it going and set a timer. A timer, a one hour timer and Let's see, what was the first? Oh yeah, arms. Arms, we're gonna draw firstly arms. If you have any other body part suggestions, just let me know. And uh, yeah, did I forget anything else? Let's see in the disco, did something happen in the disco? Oh yeah, uh, here something happened, where is it? So uh, Madness is uh, really nice, busy with practicing uh, his art or her art. It's like uh, Rock Lee here, I think. Lots of uh, being on the drawing grind, which is good. Keep it, keep it going, Madness. Keep it going. Practicing that manga. Oh, yeah, that looks... Uh, well drawn. What was this? A game? Madness. Ah, it's Sasuke, man! Sasuke! <laughs> what is this, though? Some. The mouse or something? I don't know. But uh, keep it going, Madness. Oh, they were not yours. Oh. Yeah, keep it going, Madness. Keep it rolling, madness. Okay. So right now we first gonna draw some arms. I guess I'm gonna use some 3D models as well. Let me see. Arms. Arms. Arms, arms. Oh yeah, that uh, game with arms. The game, or what was it called? It's like the uh, yeah. Ah well, okay. Arms. Where is the glove? Here is the glove. The glove, the glove, the glove. Uh. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Are you ready to rumble? Pick up your pens, pencils, or paints, blood, or shit, or something where you draw it. And let's, uh, yeah, do some stuff. Alrighty, just welcome back to the 
one hour manga drawing practice challenge and today we have suggested by the fate to draw the human body part called arms yeah we already drew arms before and now we're gonna go back to drawing arms yes so sit back relax pick up your pens and let's start drawing some arms let's go Ish. Okay, let's go back and warm up our drawing skills. Uh, let's see, arms. Uh, and then, yeah. How long is it? 22 43 okay all right let's draw some arms ninjas so let's get it going yeah arms um are are definitely they have a like a a certain structure to it how the muscles go which I am also Hello, still practicing. Yo, Hart, welcome back to the show. Ninja Box is showing, and what did you eat today? Right now, we're practicing for one hour drawing arms, suggested by Fate Watcher on the last episode. And uh, yeah, let's uh, draw some arms to improve our manga drawing skills. And also, pick up your pen if you want to also draw along or pick up some references online and and start drawing some arms unless you want to draw something else of course so how is it going heart how is it going how was your weekend if you had any at all because you know some people don't have weekend in the weekend but actually have to work like us right now on this sunday evening um, yeah, here drawing arms. Well, there's a hand here attached to the arm, of course. Should we draw it? Yeah, the focus is arms, though. But, yeah, let's just quickly draw a few fingers, I suppose. To, uh, you know, practice the manga skills. So, how's it going today, ninjas? What have you been watching? Also, last evening, exam. watched for the first time uh, Dune 2. I uh, made a video about it, but I'm still working on that video. Uh, it's a brief review of the movie. Uh, actually, one and two, because this week, technically, I've seen both movies for the first time. And yeah. Like this video, you might see in the future. So it's uh, not this week anymore. <laughs> it's now the 7th of April, the April. Um, exam oh yeah you have to uh, oh shit you have to practice for exam what uh, do you have to learn English math um, yeah you have to uh, definitely study for that eh? better well you you uh, you can make it right did you study good did you uh, got it all in your mind well hopefully for you uh, heart you uh, can beat that exam yeah Yeah, studying for exams is definitely not easy, eh? But eh, if you, uh, I guess, uh, pay attention. 100%. Oh shit, science! Damn, that sounds uh, yeah difficult, man. That sounds difficult. Uh, what is scheikunde in English? Natuur en scheikunde. I kind of like that class in middle school. Um. But I uh, probably forgot a bit. <laughs> it's been a while. But yeah, it was uh, pretty fun. What is Scheikunde in English? Let me quickly search for it. Scheikunde. 
physics and chemistry. Oh yeah, that was it. But this was not uh, high level stuff, just simple stuff. But yeah, that was uh, pretty fun, I guess. Um, yeah. Like they uh, told about light and all that and how all the colors and stuff, you know, with the pyramids and, and all that stuff. <laughs> oh shit, this arm is way too big and it's a bit weird looking. A bit weird looking, no. Well, let's put this arm over here because we have need to more uh, need more space for some more arms. Arumsu, but yeah. A little bit of shading here and there, yeah. Keep it rolling, ninjas. Uh, probably this arm is a bit too small here. Should be probably a bit more like this. Choo, 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 choo. That's why we practice. It's not to make it perfect or whatever, you know. Just uh, trying to understand it a bit. Oh, this is probably a bit too big. Yeah, I have to say that with digital doing stuff like this is definitely uh, a hack it's definitely a hack and uh, because uh, traditionally you cannot do that you know so it's definitely a uh, yeah a tool that's uh, handy a handy tool but even if you uh, make traditional anime for example you still have tricks to do stuff but yeah madly it's okay let's go to another pose or angle another angle i probably should not draw too much of the hands because it takes quite a bit of time and the focus right now is to practice arms and not hands even though the hands are attached yet like maybe a simple shape of the hand attached to it but not focusing too much on the hand because the focus point of today's episode is well arms not hands even though they're attached to them but yeah well you can also draw hands with simple shapes to have a like you know what's going on by you don't have to always draw the whole hand in order to understand, oh, here's a hand going on. Like just like a simple shape like this and try to, you know, a bit just that shape here going on. But yeah, if we focus too much on the hands, then it's like, then the focus on the arms gets lost. But yeah, let's keep it a bit simpler. Choo 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 choo. Yeah, something like that. So, uh, what have you been watching lately? Any anime or something, ninjas? Last night went to the cinema with my ninja father. We went to the movie Dune this uh, week. Watched for the first time Dune 1 earlier this week. And then uh, remembered that Dune 2 is now in cinema. So, I. Uh, Ask my ninja father, oh yeah, well, uh, you wanna go to see this movie in the cinema? And he said, yeah, let's go. And uh, I said, all right, let's go. And then we went to the movie yesterday in the evening. It was quite busy in the cinema. Um, probably not on Sunday, but yeah, better to go on Saturday and for, uh, well, my ninja father at least, because Monday's uh, early work day and you know, so then you have the Sunday more free and yeah. So we went to the movie Dune. And it was a, definitely a fun movie, a long movie, but the whole movie stuff was going on. So yeah, definitely uh, 
is a, is a good movie. I'm still working on the review and want to make a drawing manga art for it. Uh, after the practice here, if we uh, are done in time. And um, uh, yeah. Arms. Arms, yeah. So ninjas, are you good at drawing arms? What have you been watching? Oh yeah, today we watched a Marshall's episode with dinner. Uh, quickly, I couldn't completely see it because I had to make some coffee and shit for a certain someone. Um, maybe I have to rewatch part of it, but yeah. Marshall's is a, a fun anime so far. Even though sometimes you really know what's gonna happen. But basically just waiting for certain moments, you know? Um, yeah, there's still many other anime on the list from one of the previous sessions that I have written down and gonna check out later, I guess. Um, also, we're almost done with the Marshall season two because it has like 12 episodes per season two. But basically it's until episode 24 if you calc... Uh, like the thing with those seasonal animes is that how they name them is sometimes weird, or at least... Like originally in the manga it's just chapters and then it just counts up, you know? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, 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 blah. 1 to 10 and then... But in the anime, sometimes with the seasons in... Uh, well, in the West or... Then they have season 2 and then they restart counting. Even though it's like just the next episode. Um... But yeah, I prefer to just call it the episode it actually is. So let's say you have season 1 that has 12 episodes and then you have season 2 that has 12 episodes. Instead of then calling each episode of season 2 like 1 again until 12. But then they're just calling it 13. So starting at 13, um, you know, because that's actually what it is. But yeah. So no, we are now at episode uh, 24, or not uh, 24, 22 two or 23 so like two more episodes left and then after that i think the marshall's anime is then done and then yeah we can watch something else uh with dinner or something you know uh, so yeah but do you need just think that uh, watching anime is a waste of time like uh Well, for me, it really depends how much. <laughs> yeah, because definitely I used to watch sometimes the whole day anime back in the, the good old days, marathoning like One Piece or Naruto, Bleach or something, you know, just want to finish the whole damn thing. Um, and, and back then also had more time for that. But right now, uh, yeah, binge watching is less productive but here and there try to you know catch a few episodes of something like Marshall right now and you know um, yeah we've definitely been watching some stuff but I not as much as I uh, originally used to but yeah in a way watching anime is definitely a waste of time if you then don't do other stuff that you first have to do like let's say you have to do your exams but then you fill your exams because you're watching an anime well, then it's, uh, yeah, probably not so uh, so good for... Uh <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I, uh, back in the days, also used to procrastinate a lot with homework and shit. Like, I'm a, uh, yeah, master procrastinator, or at least definitely with school back then. And maybe still I'm a bit like that, or, you know, time management. Is definitely uh, a keyword to manage this, and I'm still also figuring shit out. But yeah. Also, today on Epic Games, I'm not sure if it's worldwide, but on Epic Games, you can claim some free games. So, a fellow mate, uh, Fade, uh, told me about this, and uh, thanks for that. But yeah, I, I did, did claim some games, and also on Thursday, there are some 
uh, what was it? Ghost. Something with a ghost. Ghost Hunter or something? Ghost? I, I forgot right now. But uh, there's a, a game on Epic Games that you can claim for free. Which is really nice. You know, free games. Uh, even though I <laughs> don't really have much time to play them though. But at least then it's in your library. And then, uh, you know, for when you want to play a game. The Kale Pie Peace Slayer is Yo playing. Giant, welcome back to the show and you watch e -showing. And what did you eat today? Uh, yeah, on Epic Games you can claim a few uh, free games uh, right now, today, and also Thursday, in case you did not know that. So definitely go check it out if you want to claim a few free games, and yeah, maybe you never will Macaroni. play it, but yeah. Macaron, macaron, very nice, with cheese. <laughs> and uh, the giant doesn't eat cheese. Can you believe it? But yeah. Oh, you're not allergic to it, right? Yeah, but uh, but yeah, a macaroni. What did you get with it? Hamburger. A hamburger with macaroni. That's in every week at Thursday. Oh, it's like a uh, a schedule for your weekly uh, eating stuff. No, not with a hamburger. Not with a hamburger. Oh, with an uh, fish sticks. What did the giant eat with his macaroni? And uh, you have this dish called mac and cheese, right? Tomorrow it's, uh, with hamburger. In, uh, America. Isn't that just macaroni with cheese? Today with chicken. Oh, with chicken. Also sounds good, man. Chicken, yeah. <sighs> Fresh meat. Fresh meaties. Mateys, fresh mateys. But not uh, a yeah, man. chicken. Uh, a little chicken. A little chicken. Bark, 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 bark. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, that sounds uh, tasty. Yeah, today we, um, my ninja father brought some nice chicken as well. Spicy chicken with broccoli and rice. Very nice. And also tofu. Uh, yeah, man, was also uh, a good uh, a meal. Yeah, there's still a bit of leftover. Uh, Nijichan ate a leftover pizza, but yesterday we ate pasta quite a bit, but I already finished all of mine, so I didn't have any leftovers, unfortunately. But hey, it was damn tasty. Um, yeah, I got pasta with like shrimps and chicken and. Uh, um, some spicy shit in their sauce. Uh, yeah, that's uh, how I like them. How I like them. So yeah, ninjas, what games have you been playing today? How was your weekend? If you had a weekend, or what did you do today on this Sunday, or in on your day when you watch this? It's probably another day. Uh, yeah, yeah. What did you do? Any projects you're working on, or? Anything productive, or were you just dicking around, wasting time, or uh, something else? Um, yeah, maybe some exercise. Also, last evening was walking outside. Unfortunately, it went raining, um, but yeah, I still had to walk for a daily exercise, or just walking. So I don't go to the gym in the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, that's my break day, so the whole week. Five days a week I go to the gym, or at least that's the plan the last few weeks. Months now even, maybe. Hmm. I've not counted it, but uh, yeah. So in the weekend is a rest day, except for walking. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's also moving uh, in the right direction, I think. And keeping the food, the food on track, you know. Counting calories, what you eat. That's what I'm doing, and so far it's working, so I'm gonna keep doing it uh, until uh, I stop doing it. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Um, <laughs> okay, let's uh, get some other arms. Other arms, Armstrong. The captain, the captain, Captain Armstrong, back in action. 
But yeah, right now we're doing uh, the one hour drawing challenge practice to improve our manga abilities, drawing abilities, skills to uh, become a better mangaka. And uh, yeah, draw. And hopefully some of this uh, practice sticks in our brain and uh, we can bring it along when we uh, go drawing the manga panels. Uh, of course, I actually, when I make manga, in the process of making manga, also learning new things. So while doing it, learning new things. Um, because in manga, there are many, many things you have to draw in many poses or different Ring scenes and all that. And yeah, I don't know that all fastest, um, if you haven't already. always. HTTP so that's why reverence is a skill that you have to use the, the reverence to see how things look like in order to make the stuff you want to make. Because sometimes in your imagination you think, oh yeah, this looks like this. But then when you draw it, and then it's like, hmm, it looks a bit off. And then you look at uh, how it actually looks like, and it's, oh yeah, shit, it's totally different. So then you take that reference and put it in your work, because that's how professionals draw in their careers, by using reference. So don't be afraid to use reference in order to, uh, you know, make your drawings a look better. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we should not draw too much uh, tense, didn't we say that? <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, coming a bit to the front here. You was watching at half past six to Japan. To Japan? Oh no, I have not watched uh, Max Verstappen. I haven't watched it, did he win? Max Verstappen was racing again, right? Yeah, I think it was. No, around that time I yes, had a... Won. Oh, very nice. Yes! Um, no, I, around that time I had pain in my eyes because I had my lenses in for 12 hours and I took them out. I also was a bit tired, I guess, and my eyes turned all the way red. So I had to uh, close my eyes and also a part of my lens is broken, I think. So that a lens is something you put in your eye to see, uh, to see instead of glasses. Um, so I, I, uh, I got lenses and I'm still new to them. So, uh, but yeah, a little piece is now out of the lens. So I probably have to go back to the store to uh, see if they can give me a new one or something or wh what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, I definitely had to close my eyes because my eyes turned all red. Um, so yeah, and I was a bit tired, I suppose. Or maybe because of wearing the lenses for quite a bit. Uh, 12 hours, so um, yeah, that might be have been a thing. But um, yeah, get, getting them in is uh, working out better now. At the beginning, it was really fucked up. Yeah, today didn't do it because uh, one of the lenses is like, well, a little piece is out of it. So it, it was recommended by a fellow mate. The fade uh, to not put it in your eye because then maybe you get like uh, issues if you do put a broken lens in your eye. Or it's only a little piece out of it, but it still can damage your uh, eyes, you know. So that's why I didn't do it today. And then uh, next week I have to go back to the store to see um, uh, what the best is to do and uh, if I can get a new lens or something. I'm not sure how, how everything works with this. I'm still new to it. so. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's definitely a thing. But I uh, do like the lenses so far, now that I can put them in um, better than before. Because earlier on it was like, it took me 31 times and still could not get it in. And then the last few times it was uh, three times in the right, I believe, and then two times in the left eye, I think. Um, so yeah, it's uh, working out better. But today I couldn't practice it because well, one of them was br um, had a little chip in it. And therefore, um, yeah, also not putting in the right eyeball with the lens because then I only have one eye with a lens and it's like, then one eye sees good and the other eye not. So and then you, you have to wear half a glasses. Not good made of the manufacturing. Um, no, I think, 
Now it was not already broken, but then maybe, probably be, I, I might have done something. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't broken at the start when I had them at first. So uh, yeah, I might have uh, done, yeah, I don't know, maybe by accident. Yeah, it, uh, maybe I did it, I don't know, uh, or chipped it accidentally by getting him out too hard or I don't know, but yeah. But it's not good to be, put a broken lens in your eyeballs. Or at least that's what people say. Even if it's a little bit, right? Yeah, I'm not... Uh, if you have lenses yourself, um, you probably know it better. I'm still new to this, so... So, yeah. Um, yeah, at first I uh, couldn't really get... Touch, touching my eyes and stuff. I never really did that, so... But hey! Learning new skills. Uh, putting in lenses. Uh, definitely is a new experience, and uh, yeah... Uh, it's something, uh, yeah, to uh, a new challenge. But yeah, so far it uh, works good, and yeah, I have to go next week to the store. Lenses. I, I was asking, like, okay, can you put a color colored lens in there, a colored one or something? But then you have to put that on top of the other lens. But then it might hurt if it's too hard and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, when I was wondering, like, how do cosplayers even do this, you know? A fellow mate said, like, also, like, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they don't put in their uh, lens where they can see well with, but just the lens that is for the cosplay. So let's say you're a character from Naruto and you have, like, uh, the Shuring gun in your eyes, then some cosplayers just put that lens in their eyes for the cosplay but not the other lens where they actually can see well with. So, so yeah, um, I did not exactly know how that worked. I had some friends, some mates that, I think one was cosplaying as Kakashi and had a lens in there, but normally he wears glasses, I believe. But I guess then for him, he could also not see, now that I think about it. Unless he has like two lenses in on his eyeball at the same time, but. Yeah, I'm not sure how you ninjas do it. If you ever cosplayed uh, any of you, yeah, how would how did you do it? Uh, if you ever did something like that, but yeah. So we have now. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot to press start on the timer. How long are we busy? Thirty minutes. Oh shit! I forgot to. Uh Keep an eye on the timer. How long are we drawing this? Oh wait, I, I, I've written it down. 43. LOL. Oh yeah, it's 43. So how long do we have left? Uh, it's 10, is it 15 plus 10 is 25. So 35, 35 minutes left. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I forgot to click the start button. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I wanted to say, oh, this time we have this amount of time left to draw arms. <laughs> but then I <laughs> didn't saw the timer <laughs> going at least. I saw the timer, but it was still standing as, uh, you know, still. Anyways, the timer is now set up. As the super giant, Ninja um, has been streaming for 49 minutes 36 sex. This time. Yeah. No, but that's the total time. We've not been, been drawing right away, so that time is not the correct time for drawing for one hour. Um, but I've written it down in the... Le yeah, I, I did I write know. it down, so... But yeah. <laughs> well, luckily we've written it down, yeah. I mostly do that, uh, and sh I should keep doing that in cases like this. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, but uh, no, uh, so Max won. Was it a good uh, finishing move? Yeah, riding in Japan, I was a uh, good track in Japan. The, the roads in Japan are cool, right? The where they race on. They're um, racing tracks. Um, yeah, next to that. Yeah, so yesterday in the went to the cinema, watched uh, Dune two. And it was a really good movie. Review coming up soon. Next to that, we watched some Marshalls. 
uh, the anime and yeah next to that not watched um, not really watched something still stuff on the on the list like uh, what was it reincarnated like a slime or something is on the list and some over something what was it I forgot there were, were some things that I put uh, on the list and I'm checking to check <laughs> basically uh, but yeah yeah the thing these days is there's so much things to watch and I know there are many good things that Keep I still want ninja. to watch but yeah cannot do it all at the same time also when we're in Japan at least one time I want to see One Piece again on TV, you know, just in the flesh. Even though I don't know what they're completely going to say, because I don't completely know Japanese yet. I do want to uh, <laughs> just watch it live. It is just really cool, you know. Uh, yeah, even though today, these days, I don't really watch any TV. The, the thing is, we don't even have a TV here. And by that, I mean not, not the physical TV, but the cable of the TV. So let's say you put on the TV. Well, the TV then doesn't really work. Unless you maybe go on the interwebs, but I'm not sure how that works. Uh, if you can watch every channel, there, there are only... Like, what website can you... Is there a website where you can watch any TV for free so that you don't have to uh, pay for shit? Like, that you can watch every channel. I, I'm not sure... Uh, I, I, I searched it before, but I couldn't really find a good one or, yeah, only like uh, channel one, two, or three or something, but, uh, what is it, MPO or, uh, but that's not, I, I mean everything, like, the, uh, Verona, uh, yeah, like I, it's weird that if it doesn't, is there, if, it, if there isn't a website where you just have every TV channel that's normally free on, on the web where you can watch it, uh, there's probably a, website but i let me know if you know one that that's uh that, that you use maybe um arms So yeah, ninjas, um, what you're gonna watch this week? Game or anything you're working on? Any drawings? As for me, it's uh, still... Hopefully this week I can... Next week, I mean, can send the test print to the printer people. Um, yeah, and of course working on some videos. Uh, there's still a lot of things um, learning Japanese yeah many things still to do uh, we also have to uh, fix stuff for in Japan like going to the Pokemon cafe um, like there's one in Osaka a Pokemon cafe also in Tokyo so definitely want to at least go to at least one of them but I want to go to both of them but yeah, uh, there, there are many things that I, uh, <laughs> like this is, I've been waiting for this for years, or at least planning, or, you know, because, uh, yeah, it's not cheap, and yeah, saving, so yeah, but uh, any plans for you need just to travel somewhere soon? vacation or something uh, this year or next year or or some place where you still want to go to uh, yeah next to Japan I still want to go to Indonesia at some point 
probably also America or maybe Canada, um, Norway, or you know, to the Viking land. Seeing the the was it in the in the air, uh, the sky, the the lights, the the colors in the sc in the um, what's it called again? The um, in the night you have these. Uh, I know the word, but I cannot come to it right now. Um, well, you know the lights in the sky. It's a uh, as a word, <laughs> but I cannot remember right now. Um, yeah, well, basically that's uh, something I still want to see in real life. But I say you cannot really see it with your naked eye, so maybe you have to uh, dress your eye with some clothes and then uh, yeah see it with uh, the dressed eye uh, instead of your naked eye but I don't know how that exactly works um, next to that yeah conference to travel or probably again to Spain or something like I've been many times to uh, Salau back in the days which was fun um, a lot of Dutch, Dutch crazy Dutch tourists though so maybe that's uh, a bit less fun <laughs> But then again, yeah, you can speak to them. But some really get uh, crazy drunk and sh uh, destroy shit. So that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> not so good, eh? But yeah, um, somewhere in Spain probably, yeah, top, top list to travel to. Mm, maybe South Korea. I think maybe still in China to the Shaolin monks. Uh, what else is there for places? Never been to Italy, actually. I, I, I guess quite a bit of people went to Italy. Never been there. Uh, yeah, to eat pizza and all that, right? And <laughs> yeah. Uh. The pizza. But yeah, there's still many uh, places I have not seen yet. Where have you been all to in your life, ninjas? I've been to uh, Indonesia, Japan, Spain, Germany, Belgium, uh, England, or the UK. Oh yeah, Ireland or something would be cool, or Scotland or something. I think that would be uh, nice to visit. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Mallorca? No, wait. Yeah, all Mallorca, but that's in Spain. Um, Tenerife is, is also Spain, right? Ten Tenerife. Tenerife. Um, what else? Yeah, like, I'm not sure if it's really, really counts, but if you go traveling with the airplane, um, you have sometimes, if it's a long ride or flight, it's um, you stop in a country to wait, you know. But you don't really see the country itself, just at the airport. So if, if you count that, I technically already been to South Korea and Abu Dhabi and Dubai. But I have not really actually been in the country itself, like just on the airport. Um, so I, I guess that doesn't really count. Um, but technically I've been there then, probably also in some other places, like Malaysia or something, when going to Indonesia back in the days or some other stops at places. Um, yeah, you, you could technically say you've been to this country, but have you really been to it, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure if it really counts, but yeah. Um, like let's say you traveled to, uh, we went to Disneyland for example with a bus, I believe, yeah, and then you, s you, you are in um, Paris or not Paris but Fran French. Um, 
But I never actually went into French, actu uh, only in Disneyland. So I have not really explored French yet either, which is still a place I still want to go to as well. Um, yeah, I know someone there. I'm not sure if he's, uh, yeah. I still wanted to go there, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Even though it's not even that far for uh, the Netherrealmers. <laughs> but yeah, French or seeing the Eiffel Tower and all that would be cool. Now that it still is there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, yeah. Yeah, there are definitely some countries I still want to go to. Because, um, you know, why not see a bit of the world in real life? But, yeah. You have needed time and money for it as well, so... Priorities! Priorities! Arms. This is one big ass arm. Like, do you need just care about big arms or not? Or you you prefer little arms like bones, or you know, just normally. Yeah, I don't care too much about arms, but it's it's cool, I guess, to make them a bit bigger. Getting some uh, more muscle on it, I suppose, but it doesn't have to be like uh, like these these massive bodybuilders or something. It's more for me to get more lean instead of big, you know, more like uh, in shape, so to speak. Uh, but because of that, then seeing a bit of muscle on your body. That, uh, yeah, because some people are really fat. Um, but then you don't see the muscle. Well, they have muscles, a lot of them, but you don't see it because of the fat. So I guess just by removing your fat, you see more muscle. Um, like if you have like these... Uh, sumo wrestlers if they were if you remove all their fat they, they probably have a lot of muscle behind be behind it uh behind the layers of fat but yeah oh yeah i am yeah, working on losing some uh, fat and gaining muscle so and also muscle burns fat so if you have more muscle it, it it's like uh, yeah it works with you to burn more fat or so they say so yeah, I've uh, been going also to the gym for that and, uh, you know, try to keep it consistent and as a, uh, a habit, so to speak. So replacing bad habits with good ones, um, but yeah, you know, we have to keep it rolling as long as we can and uh, yeah. To become a better version of yourself, I guess is always a good thing to strive for. Um, and yeah, you always have the ups and downs, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Up and down and up and down. 
Oh. So what songs have you been listening to lately, Ninjas? Any new music that's coming out or something you're a fan of? Or um, yeah, for me, I didn't really uh, follow that much. I just have a playlist now. Or Yeah, I don't... Uh, the, the song of the Marshall song is pretty fun. It's a bit too hyped, though, on the social media. But the song in itself is uh, fun. Of the opening of the anime. Like, if you have anime songs, what's your favorite song, let's say? Your favorite opening of all anime songs, or your top ten? Like, for me, Dragon Ball is definitely... Uh, Dragon Ball opening is definitely Dragon Ball Z opening is definitely the my top number one I think. Yeah. Um, also, Bleach has a lot of bangers, the opening songs, but also some old school songs really bring that nostalgia back in your brain. There are definitely uh, a lot of good songs out there. But yeah, which one is your favorite though? If you have a top 10. Hmm. Top 10 though. Yeah. That's uh. Let's see. Definitely a few Dragon Ball songs. Um, probably a few Bleach as well. I, I like the Bleach songs better than the Naruto songs. Shots fired. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. It's it's I think Bleach has better openings than Naruto. Yeah. Well, not all of them, but at least back then. And One Piece definitely the as a, a good songs as well. Classics. I also admit it's, it's are more happy or you know. Some songs are um Yeah, how do you say this? There are certain Feelings or you know that a song brings to the front. Yeah, for sometimes these typical I don't know how to explain it, but they're like typical anime songs that are a bit like they're they're bangers, but it's a sort of um template, you know, that a lot of them use. And then you have more like the One Piece Dragon Ball songs that are a bit more uh Positive or, or happy go lucky. I don't know what, how to explain it. There's, there's uh, probably a word for it. Like some song, songs are really cool and, and such, but some are some songs are just um, makes you excited to watch this episode or or just yeah I don't know a different feel to it. Like if you have uh, do, 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 or to get all kaki atsune, or you have uh, uh, the bleach song hime da da mi ga tashi mi na kizutsu wa kume wo garanai nare. That that song is a cool song, a good song, but it doesn't sound hep. Um, how do you say? It has a different sort of more of a emotional kind of. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, a different feel to it. More uh, sad in a way, <laughs> instead of uh, happy. Or you know, but it's still a good song. To me, at least, I think uh, Mob Psycho also uh, has a a really good song. In the f I only watched the first Mob Psycho anime. I still want to watch the other ones. Um, yeah, so Mob Psycho is also uh, created by the same creator as One Punch Man, the original creator that uh, drew the webcomic of um, One Punch Man and also Mob Psycho 100. But I still have to watch the. Uh, season two and three. Yeah, it's still on the to watch list. So, so yeah, that's uh, 
one of those. <laughs> yeah, the thing is though, like, um, if you watch something with a certain someone, but um, uh, yeah, you cannot always watch. How do you say it? Like, if, if the other person doesn't want to watch that, uh, well, then then you have to watch it an another time. So so then you watch something else that you can both watch, right? So it's. So then the other stuff you w uh, still have to watch are a bit on hold. And then you, you have to watch it either alone or, or with someone else. Um, so it's less productive, so to speak, in terms of uh, watching something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how to explain. Like, uh, let's say you get, go eat dinner, right? So you eat dinner anyways, and then you watch something. And then you watch something and then also eat the dinner. And then, you know, but then, then, that, then those shows cannot be watched at those times, you know, unless you watch, eat dinner alone, but yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Do you uh, like scenic? What's that? Scenic? Samsung and scenic. No, what is this? Samsung and Gerrit. No, uh, the singer, the singer. No, no, I don't. What's the uh, no. <laughs> Cynic. Wait, who is Cynic? Simon Cynic. Yeah, that he's a cool dude. He has a lot of uh, good tips. And uh, start with why. Simon Cynic. But I uh, imagine you don't mean that one. Of Jalis Jalana H E T Garnier Tooth Mitchin Cops Jalis Jalana H E T Garnier Tooth Mitchin Cop Met Hard Rari Orgel Shalil I have to hear it. But I don't want to hear it right now. And also because of uh YouTube. Because else we're suddenly uh, yeah. I know you like it. Yeah. You know I like it. You have to like it. Bow chicka bow. Like me, yay. <laughs> You like, uh, what is it? Avis Lemon, Matt Bacardi Lemon. Uh, What's it called again? Zwemmen, Avis Lemon. So it's translating uh, like, uh, let's swim with Bacardi Lemon. Or uh, uh, quickly swimming. Yeah, how do you translate this? Little sw <laughs> swimming a bit with uh, Bacardi Lemming. Lemon. Also, remember the shapes when drawing. The shapes. The shapes. Shape weights. Shake weights. <laughs> South Park. Shake weights. Yeah. Do you have them? Shake weights? I think they even made it in real life, right? The product. <laughs> What's this? You always uh, the most fun at home? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're home alone, then... Uh <laughs> yeah. Home alone.
The muscle men, the muscle men. How many? Uh, seven, eight minutes left. The marshals, marshals. Uh, something like that. <whistles> Muscles. Mashals, mashals. Mm, how does this go? A bit like this, and then. I think it was on, on, where was it? I think it was in the cinema, yeah. I saw a trailer of this game. And it was like filmed in live action. Uh, Samurais, but then it switched over to the gameplay later, I think, about uh, uh, Rise of the Ronin by Team Ninja. That's quite a big ass trailer in the cinema. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is a game that I, well, I might look, I'm not sure if I really look forward to, but I think it's uh, really cool, but then, it, yeah, too many games still to, uh, yeah. Play, yeah, yeah, I might, I'm not sure what, I'm, I guess it's on PlayStation, so I cannot even play it. Uh, yeah. Too bad! Or I have to buy a PlayStation 5. Yeah, no thank you. Well, maybe it's cheaper in Japan to buy a PS5. But I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, in a way, it's better that I then don't have to use my PC to play games because then the stream goes lagging or at least yeah, it takes too much CPU. Uh, it's just then the, the, the muscle of the PC doesn't have to sweat, so to speak, because many things are on when streaming, let's say, and therefore it does affect the PC, you know? So it's better to have two PCs. But I guess a separate console would be then better, but then again, yeah. I already have a Switch, so... Is it really needed? And and some games I, I do have to play on the PC. Um, so there's that. Yeah. But it, it's nice to have like a separate device that just works. And... No lag shit, because... Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's something to... Uh, Consider. Nah, nah. We'll see. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. There's also coming a new switch. But yeah, why would you get the new switch for what? 
if you already have a switch. I definitely think the Switch is real handy uh, because of its portability. Like on the PlayStation, they made this uh, separate device for the PS5. Like, oh, that you can play from a distance and all that. But it's um, such 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 a waste, man. Instead of just making a new PSP kind of thing, no, you have to buy a PS5 with it in order for it to work. So that's a bit lame. Like if, if they made like a separate entity like a switch like a handheld <laughs> then then uh, yeah um, they might have uh, uh, might have wanted it then but wow uh, the PSP was really awesome especially for its time you know cheers because back then there was also a PS2 um, I don't think the PS3 was out yet, or was it? But it's like basically a, between the PS1 and PS2 in terms of graphics and all that. It, it worked really great. And uh, yeah, never gotten into the Vita though. But I think the, the PSP uh, handhelds were, yeah, it was an awesome handheld. Especially for the time and, and being able to just watch a movie on your screen little screen or just have it portable like back then it was still new like now everybody has a phone so you wouldn't if you, you grew up in this age you, you would not notice you would not understand it um probably but just the fact of having a, a portable movie it, it was just mind-blowing at least to me because back then th that wasn't really a thing yet just having this small device and you know uh, yeah you can just watch anime on it and such or set your uh, set video clips on it or something it was just mind blown you know but now it's normal with all the phones of today what uh, a phone can do but back then that was not the case there were not even apps and all that like Back then, you, you didn't even know what an app was. It's just... Uh, but I played God of War on the PSP, and it looks awesome. Tekken was on there as well. Looks awesome. I think it, it still looks good, I guess. For... Yeah. It still probably holds off a bit. Yet uh, Final Fantasy Crisis Core and uh, Dragon Ball Budokai. That was definitely an awesome game. Still is, actually, I, I would say. Oh, shit. The timer! Well, let's uh, at least finish this arm. Um, but yeah. Like, if a new handheld... Yeah, you know of the Steam Deck, right? But, yeah, is that really worth it? Like, if you don't, don't really travel, you're at home and that's where you play your games, then why would you need a handheld? Unless you're, like, a, an actual traveler that travels a lot. And you will... I don't know, man. I guess it would be better, instead of buying a Steam Deck, just buy a good laptop. Uh, yeah, that you can, you know, bring with you and not only game, but also do other stuff with, like drawing. Having a portable setup that you can bring if you go on vacation or something. And yeah. Still get some work done. Well, no, oh, drawings or whatever you're doing, gaming, or just fixing stuff, uh, you know, your hotel uh, or uh, whatever. But yeah, these days, most of the things you can do by your phone. So that's definitely uh, a plus for technology. But I wonder how, uh, how far it's going to get, like... VR, maybe, like now VR is still, well, a lot of people use it now, but it's not completely normal, right? But instead of every day having your phone in your pocket, you just have a VR in your pocket. 
that you bring with you everywhere. So now everybody is used to a phone, having them with it, right? It's almost like, uh, yeah, it's just like putting on your pants instead of walking naked on the streets. Uh, but then maybe, yeah, probably uh, then everybody has a, a VR thing going on and it probably will be smaller. Now it's still quite big, right? And then it will be normal to just, oh, hey, did you bring your VR shit? Or, eh, what? You haven't, you, do you, do you don't bring your VR with you? Are you crazy? It's like when you these days don't bring your phone when you go outside. It's almost like bringing your keys of your house or something. Like, huh? You didn't, you have a, you don't have even a phone? What? Like how people would react today if you don't have a phone with you. Probably. Um, yeah, and that will then be the same for VR. I'm just brainstorming here, by the way, for how the future kind of could be, or probably, yeah. Like then, then you're a dinosaur if you're you don't have a VR with you. Because now, yeah. You, you walk outside, like, right? And then I saw that they, uh, 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 that Ko Konami or the ones of Yu Gi Oh! They were developing a Yu Gi Oh! game or something for VR or AR. Like, you see reality, but then you also see the screens. So I think Yu Gi Oh! would be really cool in that AR, VR, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, like how it was in the show. So you just have a card in your hand, put it there, and an actual monster appears on the field, If at least if you wear the glasses or whatever, to be able to see it. And I think that's definitely cool. And then you could technically just go outside and play Yu-Gi-Oh. That, that's just awesome. If that, yeah. Yeah, you de you need then, you, dev you need the VR shit or the AR, what it's called, uh, with. You need to have that then, enable to ena enable to see it then. I wonder if they're gonna fix it somehow later that you don't need anything, but you can just see it. Um, yeah, probably they. Uh, I guess they already worked on lenses for VR, or you just put in lenses and you can already you know see virtual reality. Or um, years ago they already talked about it and. I guess now it's further developed over the years. I think in 2012 or something already, uh, you know, we're talking about these lenses and uh, even earlier on. Yeah. And that is gonna be crazy, man. Um, yeah, I guess a few more years and technology takes a next step and then, yeah, yeah. Might go crazy though. Because then you probably see a lot of ads that would be so, fucked up you have to yeah get all these ads in the vr i know it's like a cancer of humanity ads but it's, it's a necessary thing right else the things you enjoy cannot be made because then they don't make money without the ads yeah I mean, do you who who honestly likes to watch ads? Okay, there are probably a few ads, at least that are fun or. But who is like, yeah, let's watch an ad. Cannot wait for this ad of today. It's such an awesome ad. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, maybe one of you actually uh, does enjoy ads. So more power to you then, if you uh, enjoy that. But yeah, I guess uh, yeah. I, I I personally don't like ads, but they're necessary, you know. And without the ads, uh, yeah, people cannot get paid, and shit cannot be made. It's like um, how you don't like them. Yeah, you like you like ads, right? <laughs> you like art. Oh my art. Odds. Uh, but yeah, all right. Let's uh, yeah finish this Addy and, and Addy. be done. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh yeah, Ed. <laughs> yeah. 
14. All right. Let's be done with this. Uh, it's not 23. 23. So it's like uh, 10 minutes more or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, ninjas. Here we uh, drew the arms suggested by the Fade. Yes, so here's our set of arms that you drew in the current one hour drawing manga practice session to improve your drawing skills and become a super mangaka. So here we have number one of the arm. Uh, number two here. Here's number three. Number four, I did try to do different angles and such. Number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you want to share your drawing practice, you can do so in the disco slash discord where you can share your drawings and see other people the drawings as well 14. uh so yeah now oh, the giant says 14 is your favorite arm yeah because of the number of johan courage <laughs> all righty then um so yeah these are the arms all right just thank you for joining once again to see drawing these arms for a one hour drawing manga practice challenge thanks to the fate who suggested arms for this session so thank you for that as well and if you have any other suggestions of body parts just let me know in the chat comments if you have any uh, so yeah ninjas look forward to the next one and don't forget to watch the previous ones to improve your drawing skills manga skills and beyond to become a super mangaka or something else so uh yeah Thanks for joining once again, Ninja Box Ishali, and see you ninjas the next time. Ninja Case out. Or are we out? No, we're still here, but that was for the video. All right. Uh, shall we do another one or no? Hmm. Yeah, the next one is hips. Hips don't lie. Hips. Uh, let's not forget to save this. <laughs> Mad lads, if you have any any topics you want to talk about or something, just uh, let me know in the chat. B puppy oh. What are we getting snow? What we're getting snow? What is this? <laughs> what? No way we're get, no way we're getting snow. Oh you bought a new headphone. Which which uh, new headphone did you get? I still enjoy this headphone that you also had, but you broke yours, right? Yeah. So far, this one is still good, and hopefully it stays good. Uh, let's not uh, jinx MX it, though. Five of Sony, the new one. MX. Is it noise cancel? I assume it's noise cancelling. Sony. MX5. MX5. Sony. So you got this one? Does it uh the Sony's are have better noise cancelling, the other one is broken, I go to bring him to repair shop. Oh. It probably Oh no wait, you have a yes, third one now then. Sale. This one is probably really expensive or not? Shop. What? Jesus. Well for this price it definitely has to be good. <laughs> Yes, what the hell jesus well yeah for this price it has to be good man if it's still not good for that price well but yeah for me it's not more worth than the price 
Uh, yeah, hopefully this one uh, doesn't break and, you know, is good for many years. It's going about the noise cancelling. Yeah. Well, hopefully it uh, stays good then, eh? What color did you get? Black, right? Well, yeah, if it works for you, and uh, you know, that's good. Could, could you test it? Um, in the sh in the store or something, or reviews maybe. Cheers. The broken one is the MX four. Oh, okay. So you already had the uh, okay, and that one. What? Why did it broken? Did it broke break? Now, hopefully, this one does not break then. Uh, what was the next one? Hips. Hips don't lie. Hips. Hips, 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 hips. The left ear pad go very loud, worsening when noise cancelling is on. Um. I saw more of that model has the same problem. The left ear pad go very loud. Oh. Oh, that's weird. It's a new day. It's a new day. The sun is shining. Oh, not over here right now. Yeah, I'm looking for some references. Bruh. Um, I saw more of the model as the same problem. Back in classic, Comedy was there. Yeah, I played a, a little bit of it, but I woke up a bit late. But I, I don't really care too much anymore um yeah hips are part of the uh, ass i suppose yeah you know Uh... Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Don't have uh... Separate hips here. Hips. Did you play it then? Community day. Uh, what the hell is this? I doesn't even. I had biz items. Oh. We were go wailing a bit, then the goat caught a lot of them. Else well, okay. my I doesn't had played. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, that's uh, fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. Double dandy. Alright. 
Uh, what is it? We did arms, which was 23. Arms. Yeah, yeah. 23, okay. And now it's hips. Hips don't lie. Oh, okay. Did you got any good ones? Good shinies or... Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot to trade yesterday. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, well. Let's see. Hip. Hips don't lie. Money, 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 what a good name. Hips don't lie. Anyways, let's go back to the drawing board. The drawing board, yeah. Oh, it's a bit small. Ah, uh, well, you don't need to see this, really. Right. Bleh. Bop, 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 bop. So, yeah, man. Mm, yeah. Okay, timer. Now we do have to set the timer. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Oh, anyway, yeah, I have to say the same. This is the left. All right, ninjas. Oh. All right, ninjas, right now it's time again for the one hour drawing practice challenge, which is today's suggestion by the fade to draw. Hips, yes. Today we're gonna practice hips and improve our skills in hips, yes, for those juicy, tasty manga skills. Let's go! Eesh. Okay, uh, was it uh, zero, 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 five, five, zero, zero, five. Oh no, shit, it's now on 35. Oh shit, my previous shit. Start. Start, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, not six. Six in the morning. It's six in the morning. Well, six minutes. Okay, then. Okay, are you ready for some Jay-Z Tuesday, Tuesday, Tasty? I cannot speak anymore. It's too late. Um, okay. Hips, hips. Let's draw some hips. Hips or bips. Anyways. Uh, yeah, man. So, uh, I was going today, ninjas. What did you eat today? What did you drink today? Uh, today I drank coffee. And more coffee. And more coffee. No, only three, so it's not so much. Eh? Anyways, uh, yeah, man, a little bit of water. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. And uh, well, technically today I didn't. Did I drink today yet? Well, it's technically a new day, so I did not eat today yet. If you uh, count that, but yeah, beer, we're still beer, busy. Beer, no, beer. no. Beer, 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 beer. <laughs> Cheers. Well, at least the beer still works, but um, yeah, it's not only beer. Yes, it's working again, the sound. Uh, that's good. That is a very good giant. Thanks for uh, testing it out. <laughs> so right now we're drawing some hips and uh, yeah. That is uh, pretty fun, eh? Drawing hips. Because hips don't lie. Or do they now? I thought you are talking about coffee, then it's time for beer. 
Uh, yeah, man. So fine and dandy. Double dandy. Where the hell is double dandy? What is he doing? I have no idea. He's probably busy drawing comics. Anyways. Uh, yeah, man. So what's your plan? Ooh, shit. What's your plan for this uh, week, ninjas? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, you know, drawing, editing. Yay! <laughs> editing! <laughs> um, working on party time, the one-shot print. And, uh, yeah, yeah. At some point, I definitely want to have enough coin to hire editors. Yeah. How you go to do what you most like, I heard. Maybe, maybe I have to sell myself to become an editor. Not sure to who, but uh, maybe there's someone out there that pays well. And uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. I hired a giant as an editor. One capsulon per edit. <laughs> per finished edit. Eee, but he doesn't eat that. Too bad. Um, yeah. My plan is this week to bring my broken headphone to the repair place and hope that the new one will arrive all this week. Uh, to the store. You bought it in a physical store, like Media Mart or something. Cool blue. Hips, hips don't lie. Uh, I have to make these hips better, man. Maybe I'm gonna draw it again. Plates. No, but the warranty is over, but there is on the Industria Trichnan shop that repair for Sony. Really? Oh, maybe I can uh, go with my camera there as well. Yes. Because my camera is a bit doing weird. But, uh, yeah, I have to figure out, like, what the problem is. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, good then. That it's, uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I have to make this better looking, man. I send it to you in WhatsApp. Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. Arigato gozaimas! Ish!
maybe I have to sometime add some screen tone to these practices just for the practice but also for manga skills in terms of screen toning yeah no maybe not today keep it up ninja okay or should we just do it hmm but then keeping it simple Let's let's just do it, man. It's now in my mind. Now I want to do it. Normally I don't want to do this, but I, this is a. I want to check it out. To become a super mangaka, of course. Super. Uh, let's see which one pattern we quickly. Uh, we're just gonna use one then, I guess. Yeah. Which one? Mm, a simple one. Choo -choo -doo -choo 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 -doo -choo -choo. Maybe this one. Uh, this one. Yeah, just a simple one. Okay, let's uh, let's do it now for this one. Choo choo do to a special practice today in this part, but not too long though. We have to be quick about it because uh, yeah, else it takes too long for one thing. see it more like a brush a brush like normally I don't do this but uh maybe if you like it I would do it more times to a screen tone and shade a bit with the screen tones because in manga you also need to use screen tones or at least it, uh, yeah you definitely need some at least a bit normally I don't really want to use the shading but uh let's just do it for the for the practice um, yeah, maybe get better results as well. Yeah, it does feel that sometimes over screen toning it, and maybe the last few times I have been doing that a bit too much with my drawings as well. Um, yeah, I think it does make it look better, but it's not yeah, like relying on it too much. Like I think you're a better skilled artist if you don't have to rely on it too much or it enhances your drawing abilities. Um, but if you can already achieve great art, or at least clear enough art with just the ink, uh, yeah, instead of uh, relying too much on screen tones at all times, yeah, I think uh, I don't. Know, there's uh, definitely a skill to it. Like if you look at Akira Toriyama's work. One Piece, um, in some of Naruto. Yeah, does Bleach use? Yeah, some use a bit more. I think My Hero Academia uses a lot of screen tones. He relies too much on it, I guess, but it does make it look good. But still, I don't know. Sometimes it's a bit too much, I, I guess, or even though it still looks good. But yeah, maybe I should just, uh, yeah, do more screen tones. To make it look better, I don't know. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's also what you want to go for, I suppose. But yeah, screen tones can give you that more manga feel to it, just by applying that a bit. It's sort of a cheat. Hackerman. The most powerful hacker of all time. But yeah, should not forget to not waste too much time with screen tones because, uh, yeah, I guess uh, maybe it's a bit too, too dark. Let's make it a bit lighter. Yeah, it get, can get some some contrast a bit, but yeah. Green Tunsu. Anyways, uh, we added some screen tones. 
Han de hips. Hips! <laughs> oh, it's part of it, right? Yeah. Now a bit more ass, I suppose. Well, also hips, but yeah. <laughs> A little bit of shades. Shady. Sh 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 shady. Okay. Hmm. 
So yeah, right now we're drawing for an hour hips, but I guess the ass is part of the hips um, in this case. In this case, in this case, which is fine, fine and dandy, right? Yeah. So this one goes. Oh. Yeah, hips, bibs, something like this. <laughs> bit of shading screen toning here added to that if you have any, if you need any uh, other topics to uh, talk about or something just uh, let me know and uh, yeah what's your favorite anime of all time these days or what's your favorite anime game movie of the year or uh, something else you watched like uh, Max Verstappen or do you like something else more than Max Verstappen this year? Like, uh, I don't know. Soccer, wheel running, or running with the wheels, or something else. Uh, ninjas, just uh, let me know. Um, 
Yeah, favorite thing of the year so far. I have to say that Dune 2 is m might be my favorite movie currently at the moment of the year so far, at least what I've watched. Um, what else did we watch this year? Dune 2 might be my favorite actually so far then. Unless I forgot something else that I watched this year. Uh, but it's definitely um, yeah, a good uh, recommendation if you're into sci-fi at least. Four. I guess of the year, Marshall's not my favorite of this year that I watched. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna say what I watched this year, not if it came out this year. Because else uh, it gets too complicated. So Marshall is probably one of my favorite. I think even over Demon Slayer, even though Demon Slayer was also uh, pretty good. And there was definitely a moment in Demon Slayer that was really touching, so to speak. Um, yeah, the Jitsu Kaisen was it also this year. I forgot if I watched Jitsu Kaisen this year or last year, the second season. It was definitely uh, good, animated, crazy. Hmm. What else was this year? Well, definitely the One Piece manga, but that's always good, so... Cannot really complain about that. Uh, next to that... Well, Avatar The Last Airbender is... Uh, yeah... One of the lower points of this year. <laughs> Um, I didn't have any high expectations to begin with, but when I, yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah, they change, yeah. I heard that the, uh, the Netflix makers even apologized to the original makers or something. Even the original makers stepped away from it for what they wanted to do with it. So I guess that's already a big hint, like, uh, yeah, they're, they're fucking it up again. And that's not the first time. Visually wise, it looks great. Definitely. And yes, in live action, you cannot do one on one, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It did feel that sometimes they were uh, cosplays instead of. Yeah, the, 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 the suits, uh, like, it looked as, as the character, but it looks too, too clean or something. They're, yeah, I talked about this before, but, you know. Doesn't matter, right? Uh, but yeah, that was on a, one of the lower points, for me at least. Um, what else? Uh, this year, yeah. I watched uh, Battle Royale for the first time, which was an old school movie. I, can, I think that's a pretty good one. And I also watched Parasite this week, or last week now, technically. Um, which is also a good recommended movie. Uh, yeah, Parasite. It's uh, an award-winning uh, festival uh, Korean movie, South Korean, uh, South Korean movie. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a good movie. And uh, yeah, next to that. Mm. Yeah.
Yeah, not too sure what else was there. What did you watch uh, this year, Ninjas? Anything fun? I think I'm forgetting something, but I don't remember. What exactly? This is five. Number five. What? No way that's real. Must be photoshopped. Yeah, I'm looking at... I, I, I just saw gigantic hips, but I uh, clicked it away. Or anyways, a uh, reference, I mean, yeah. Reference and uh, yeah, man. No, you don't always have to show reference everywhere. Yeah, sometimes on uh, where you share it, you have to send every little fucking reference, which is, uh, yeah, I disagree with. As if everybody does that. But yeah, sometimes you can clearly see someone where someone took the reference from. Like when someone is copying Dragon Ball, then you can clearly see, oh, yeah, he got it from this uh, original drawing. I know, you know, because uh, I've been there as well. <laughs> but then if you <laughs> claim it as your own, yeah. Oh yeah, if you're still in the earlier stages. Oh yeah. a bit too big for some reason it looks weird well it just looks weird to start with anyways but anyways the hips were the point Hey.
ninjas. So yeah, what body parts uh, are you drawing ninjas? Do you draw any body parts? What, which are your favorites? Your favorite body parts to draw. Uh, favorite, yeah. Um, yeah, Bobas are pretty fun. Bobas and um, yeah, but favorite, let's see, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Hmm, Bobas. Asses are pretty fun. Yeah, it's not. Uh, well, what are the least fun? I guess knees or. Hmm. Torso is fun. Torso or the the shapes, yeah. Hmm. 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 Ah, this one, this one looks so weird, man. But anyways, we have to uh, not stick too long with this one. Let's rely on <laughs> screen tones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Gerso. Oh, Gerso. Oh, oh, Gerso. That was a show. Right? So. Um, Dutch. TTTTTTV. About, uh, what was it about? Crazy uh, bastards. Uh. How much do we have left? 20 minutes or something? Hmm. Let's make this one a bit more fast.
15 minutes left. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's keep it going. Hips, hips don't lie. Jesus, these hips. Hips.
10 minutes left. 10. Number nine, why? Number nine. Yo, Fade, welcome back to the show. This works issuing, and what did you eat today? Oh. Thanks for popping in. This works issuing, sweet dreams, and don't forget the hips under the bed. Yes, ish. Why you're still? I thought you were already sleeping. On the butts. Well, the hips technically, but yeah. You can enjoy both worlds, eh? Hey? <laughs> Good luck. Uh, thanks for popping in. And uh, yeah, man. Enjoy those hipply dreams. And thanks for the suggestions. So this is the second suggestion from the fade that we're drawing. Uh, yes, hips. And before this one was arms. Yeah. But now we're also uh, adding some screen tone extra on Keep top of it ninja. to explain to improve those skills as well uh, but a bit more sketchy-ish but yeah see you later fate work it tomorrow we're about the going extreme etc right very small very big etc <laughs> yeah boy it's fun to see varity Viarity. Yep. We need the the Viarity. The Viarity. TD. Huh. Mad Lance. Yeah, something like that. Boom, chick boom. This is ten. No. 
Nah, it's supposed to be hips. But they're on part of the ass, right? Hmm. Alok. But yeah. <laughs> I see only as. And his leg here, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. You see what you want, eh? It's all fine and dandy. <laughs> Mabai, you can draw soon foot forward slash legs that are doing hatkin. <laughs> what? Foot? Hocken. Eva Hocken. Um, yeah, maybe. My ba bye ba. I probably have to need some video clips of people that are hocking. Hack. <laughs> and then make screenshots of their poses or their. how it looks like. <laughs> Possibly. Well, we have to check out after this one. Um, but it has potential. Bow, check a bow. Oh, yeah, this one is not that. Turn, turn. No, no. From the side, this one. How long do we have left? Oh, 15 seconds. Okay, okay, right on time. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, time is up, right in time. Okay, okay. 
This is Time's uh, up. 11. Uh, one oh six. Eight, eight. Yeah. Okay. All right, ninjas. We did um, now the hips. The hips don't lie. So we drew hips today. In this session, eleven hips here, as you can see. So here is number one of uh, the hips. I also added some extra screen tone in here, number two over here. And uh, yeah, I want to experiment quickly a bit with the screen tones, which we did fill up the page. So uh, number three here, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine. Actually, was she was sitting here, and she definitely had big ass hips. Number ten and number eleven from the side. So yeah, which one was your favorite hips of this session? Let me know in the comments, and if you have other body parts that you want to suggest for a next drunk manga practice session for an hour, where we practice these body parts. This was hips. So uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed some and if you drew along just also share yours if you have any in the disco slash discord or see other ones if there are any. Yes. All right, just thank you very much for joining once again watching these hips that don't lie by suggested by the fade and uh, yeah. What is this? 33. Uh, that's too much flirty free in one go. Then we have to go really fast and it probably looks really sketchy, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for joining. Once again, you just watching these hips. So if you have any suggestions for the next time, just submit them in the chat comments. Thank you very much. And yeah, thank you, Fate, for suggesting the hips. And also, don't forget to watch the previous versions if you want to draw along as well. Share your hips or other body parts. And if you have suggestions for the next ones, all right, ninjas, thank you very much for joining this one-hour Dranga manga practice session. Yes, all right, thank you for joining once again, Ninjabox Ishili, and see you ninjas the next time. Ninja case out. All right, this was uh, 24, and the giant has a suggestion for Hawken. Ninja, please out. Uh, let's see. Let's save this one, the hips, the hips 24. Hots of lots. Oh no, shit, that's hips. Oops. Not arms. 24 is hips. Yeah, I sort of stylized it in my screen tone style. Hips, hips. There goes the hips. Save as. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, pro should probably put this in a folder here. Hips. Okay, what was next? Uh, giant says Hakan. <laughs> So basically the giant is saying about a Dutch dance where the it's called Hakken, where did it moves? Um Hakken legs plus feet. Uh giant eight April 2024. You suggested that one. Let's see that again. Let, um oh yeah shit, if I show it, probably get like copyright. Um I know now we get oh wait <laughs> oh here's a tutorial uh here's a tutorial I uh, commercials oh wait you don't see this uh let's see I probably have to uh make some screenshots so here's a slow motion even uh, I'm gonna draw this yeah I have to do all these moves 
Yeah, I, I guess it could be uh, a thing. Well, drawing what feet legs? I would the title be drawing Hawken. That's not a search term. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Nice and out, full body, Hakan. Come on, man. We need a full uh, here. Ooh, ooh. Hey, the, the text is in the way, man. Okay. Well, basically, just people doing the moves. So that can be a thing. Okay. Come on, man. Do the moves. Okay. Here. So here we have one. Okay. This. So that could be. Yeah. Or, or maybe just the legs. Yeah. It can be a thing. Ah, shit. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Show the moves. Yeah, it's not so clear, this one. Uh, this one is... Yeah, it's more about the shapes than I suppose. Oh, here. <laughs> he jumps. Yeah, I guess it could be a thing. Let's see. Is there not one outside? Um, oh, here. Yeah, so I have to... Make screenshots. I give a good challenge, I see. I... Yeah. It's more a dance, you know. So. This one, this quality is a bit shitty. But this is better quality. Oh, yeah, did this. Uh, uh, basically, I, I just. You can do draw some pose and based on screenshots. Yeah, for example, this. So uh, if you draw this, uh, yeah. You have almost done every body part already. Yeah, I forgot the uh, knees. Yeah, knees. Well, they have knees on here, but with the pants. Else, you uh. must go start drawing objects. Someone needs to go hocken in the in the underwear. <laughs> then I see the legs, right? How the legs look like because now they're pants on top of it how can in keep it up ninja uh yeah i'm not sure how to <laughs> maybe not safe for work <laughs> uh but yeah I, I probably when we go do this i have to make a few pictures wait are there maybe on google pictures lol 18 plus dingen uh Dance. Well, they're sort of. Mm. Yeah, they can also go Hakan as in um, the woman's shoes, you know, with Hakan. So it has more meanings. Gabber Piet. Wait, didn't Gabber Piet go Hakan? Yeah. Ah, well, uh, I've written it down, and uh, yeah, I guess that's the next challenge, but I have to probably make a few screenshots before that. It was created in Rotterdam. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, yeah, let me go to the toilet for a second. Cheers. Um, uh, BRB in a second.
Hello, hello. Hey. Uh, steun kruinzucht. <sighs> Oké, okay, let's see. It's time for some fan art. Fan. GoPro, GoPro, GoPro. Uh, two, two, Do you have even a live camera with the GoPro? Live camera? What do you mean? Live camera? I mean that you can switch to in the live stream. I don't have it. I don't have a GoPro. Fate. Yeah, he has a GoPro. I am. Um, I. Something else. No, he has a GoPro. What you are wearing now on your clothes that isn't GoPro or something else. No, oh, that's uh, the mic. Microphone. Alok, I thought it's with camera. Yeah, normally uh, it's the mic for the camera. But I figured out that you can also use it for the PC and have a wireless mic. So that's definitely uh, like it, the mic is normally here and it's a bit in the way when drawing with my right hand. So Bluetooth. the last few sessions, uh, yeah, Bluetooth, yeah. So it's pretty nice. Um, yeah. And so far it seems to work. You can hear me, right? <laughs> Yeah. That's I created in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands? Oh yeah, yeah. The name is from a Viking, I believe. Um, from a Viking that's called a. Uh, he had blue teeth, so, uh, something like that. Like the blue logos from a, a, a ruin from a Vikings, I believe. The Vikings. Uh, why these days all the images or not all of them but a lot of images that you try to save on the interweb are in webm in the webm file anyways uh, let's uh, drill that's a drill uh, so right now we're gonna draw a character from dune 2 in manga style in my manga style, or the way I draw, and uh, yeah, let's figure it out, and let's see if uh, uh, we can uh, cook something here with our manga skills. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna draw this uh, beautiful boy of the show. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool dude. Lots of courage, a good uh, main character, I suppose, yeah. Yes, quite thick eyebrows.
Дрон. Oh wait, this is the wrong brush. Ninjas, so yeah. Um. Yes, this cool uh, mask here as well. Reminds me a bit of Mortal Kombat. It's just pretty cool. How does this go? Choo, choo, choo. Web is created by Google Images will be saved smaller vs JPG without quality loss. With the so WebM, less data you mean. traffic on your web page, faster loading times, and higher score at search engines. With web, you web. can't open the images then on your UPC. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, it's a bit annoying because I every time I have to uh, I convert the images to uh, well, I do them to PNG. But Adobe can't handle it then. Uh, PNG, yeah, yeah. With Premiere, I can edit with. Uh... No web. Uh, no, not with web. No, no. That's why I convert them. Which is a bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Terrible software. Mm, that's fine. Oh yeah, I prefer if uh, you can use it, but you know, I'm not gonna uh, learn whole Da Vinci right now because I already know uh, Premiere. But Premiere isn't for images. No, on the interweb, on the website, I just upload Photoshop the... Photoshop is for images. On the website, I upload the PNG file, or the WebM file, and then convert it to uh, um, uh, PNG, yeah. Because in my videos, I use images a lot, in some of them, and then... Um, if you quickly want to add an image, well, I, I quickly go to a website, convert it, and then save the image, put it, put, it on my, about. put it in my uh, uh, YouTube videos, yeah, or videos. Um, so yeah, I, I, I do that. Uh, yeah, sometimes you quickly it's want to make a video, and it's a bit... Uh, um, you want to go fast, you know, else the edit takes even longer. But I, so I, let's say I say something. So right now I say, it, for example, Max Verstappen. So I quickly, oh, I have to find a good picture of Max Verstappen. Blah blah. blah so I quickly search to put it over here, and then, but then the file is WebM, I know, and then I have to go to the other website to convert it to uh, 
PNG and then Web save it. And then better for the internet, smaller without quality, Uh Yeah, but probably not for videos then. Maybe not for videos. I don't know, actually, uh, exactly what's... Uh, I use now standard H.265 as codec. Uh, why does this look a bit weird? Oh, uh, what? H. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Is the latest H codec at this time? Keep it up, Ninja. Uh, yeah, yeah, if it works, you know. If it works for you, then it's good. Right? Right on. Oh. It is smaller than H.264. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is saving as MKV file type. All right. Uh, M MK. Oh, I, I really hate those files in a way. Yeah, because if you want to put sometimes stuff on the media player, and then if it's an MKV file, it's a lot of times it doesn't work. It's really annoying. I do always render the file with Dave and Sai in H.264 without data loss and then do with handbrake do and compressing to H.265 with lower quality. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's this? Without data loss. Uh, yeah, that's good, man. That is, is good. Uh. Ivan 4K file of 11 minutes and it's 3 gigabytes in size. 3 gigabytes.
Oh yeah. Is that good? I don't know. Four times of 1080 p then it should around the 800 MB. 800 MB. Subscribe on YouTube, https colon double forward slash bit dot lie forward slash 2UIU63Y to stay notified the fastest and ring the bell for the latest videos. Thanks ninjas. Arigato. I think it can be smaller. Hmm. Yeah, just uh, experiment with it, I guess. Without losing uh, the quality. I made a video for me aunt she has a new dog and I filmed it with my one e plus but I didn't know that the camera in it was not good anymore. Mm -hmm. Almost everything oh. is way way too light and unsharp filmed or camera was the whole time stuttering with faux seizing. Oh. I did some color grating and make the video sharper. Okay yeah that's uh, yeah that helps. That helps. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, color grading can help. Uh, can help indeed. Did some too much light, let it disape her so much as I can. some match light yeah just uh, playing a bit with it and see what works better But in the end, uh, you figured it out, eh? Figured it out.
Indians. It's fine and dandy. Madlands. So how many uh, videos do you still have to edit, Giant?
Mad Lance. Are you still playing Power World? Um, well, not really. No. If you see me uh, playing Power World, that's uh, on the live stream. <laughs> so, yeah. I still want to, uh, at some point, play it again, but um, I have to draw now at the moment. Maybe uh, tomorrow or something. That's what I already took. Yeah, if I, I play it, it's on the live stream, and else I. Well, not. <laughs> um, but maybe tomorrow or Tuesday, maybe, with Ninja Chun. I don't know yet. Xiaom for GTA 2 live stream then. Yeah, my PC can probably not handle that one. <laughs> well, we did it once if, or a few times, but um, I forgot. Did it work out? I don't know. Yes, we did it once. I forgot if it actually worked good. Mad Lance. Mm, feel the hair is too small or something is not right. Ninja Su
Rangers. Ninjas.
Mad Lance. Many things going on. Mad Lance.
ja, ja. Tschu, 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 tschu. Brat. Broskis. Boy, it's your boy. Thank you. 
Mad Lance, okay. okay. Ninjas. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I guess that's it. Huh? Hmm.
Man, Lance. Yeah, let's go. Oh, no, wait. Hey. Hmm?
Mad Lands. Wait, why is it so... Yes, um... Mango! Yeah, boy, Dune 2, Paul, Paul, the mouse, what's his face? What, is, what did he say again? Uh, I should maybe put a quote somewhere.
it's red from right to left by the way in case you did not realize Manga panel! Uh, yeah. A road. Fuck. It's road leads. My road leads into the desert. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, a manga panel for the movie Dune, or 1 and 2. Uh, so yeah, here is uh, Paul Athridis, the main character in Manga Stell that we now just uh, finished. So yeah, if you watch the movie, you know who this is, and else uh, maybe you uh, enjoy this uh, piece of manga works. Just let me know in the comments and also what you thought about the movie or movies, I should say, part one and two. Uh, yeah, alrighty then. Ninjas, yes. Alrighty, ninjas, yes. Just now finished an art piece, a manga drawing works piece for um, Dune, yes, based on Dune one and two of Paul Atreides, the main character. That we now just finished so yeah if you like sci-fi i definitely recommend to see this movie if you haven't already and also let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments if you have seen it um yes alrighty then giant ninjas and everybody else that was here see this now and see this later thank you very much for joining once again ninja bucks usually sweet dreams and don't forget the man under the bed Merc, that is. <laughs> yes. All right, ninjas. Thank you for joining once again. Ninja Bucks Ishili. And see you, ninjas, the next time. Oh, no, wait. For don't forget to follow on Twitch and ring the bell. Subscribe on YouTube and ring the bell as well to notify the fastest way. And also, don't forget to check out Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, where I mostly will update when we go live once again as well. And also, you can find all the links in one place at the link tree slash ninja case. One link to rule them all. So you can find all the links over there as well. And don't forget to read. Party time, the one shot Party at time, one Manga shot Creators, links also everywhere in the description or just go to Manga Creators, search for Party Time or also everywhere in the social media where you can read this manga for free and also send in your fan art and or fan questions for the physical book that I'm working on as soon as possible if you want and can. So yeah, send in your fan art or fan questions of Party Time, the one shot of the manga. ASAP for in the book, the physical book. 
with your name and artist name or artist name. Uh, yes, alrighty then. And also don't forget to join the disco slash discord where you can see and share your drawings for people to check out if you want to and also share your social media in the promotion section. Many things also talk before the stream, while the stream is going on and after the stream over there as well. Over there in the disco. So yeah, Ninjas will be back as soon as possible. So don't forget to follow Twitch and subscribe on YouTube and ring the bell to stay notified the fastest if you haven't already. Arigato Ninjas, thank you very much. Alrighty then. Yeah, so Ninjas. Thanks for joining once again, Ninja Box Ishili, and see you Ninjas the next time. Ninja Case out. Thanks for joining once again, Ninjas Ninja Bucks, and see you in Ninjas the next time. Ninja Case out.